Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing? Tapers are all doing fantastic. We are here today at the Goodwill on Tus our in Tustin on Grand, and I'm ready to take you guys in the store. If you guys love thrifting, there's all vlogs, hoping to record videos, and all that fun stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. And on Instagram, it's Hayden, just like it's spelled here. And check out the shop, it's Hayden.com to see what I have for sale for my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's go into the store. I got princess parking today. I'm literally right in front. So let's go check it out. Last time I was here, they were like moving around all of the fixtures and stuff, and I'm pretty excited. I love it when they move around fixtures. I don't know, it just feels like a brand new store. So, oh, look at this. It's pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This little teapot. That's a bunny. Oh, look at this. Mikasa heart. This is in good shape. I think I might get this. I do love a good heart bowl. This little bird plate. Creative co op. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's like an apple. For like, it's like an apple pie thing. How much is this? Oh, it's from Joanne Store LLC. $6.99. It's so cute. Why do I like this anchor hawking glass container? It's $2.99. Be great for just like fruit to like put in the fridge. There's only one though, but I like that it has like a glass lid and all that. Let's see what other knickknacks we can find over here. Look at that little telephone looking thing. Various containers. Um, things that I forgot what they're called. How cute is this pillow, you guys? It has like faux leather tassels on it. This yellow one is kind of fun too. It's like a yellow velvety pillow. Oh wait, this says be right back at Target. <laughs> be right back at Target. Is this from Target? Oh, it is from Target. All right, the searching continues. Ooh, this is fun. Ooh, this is an RCR. Um, I think RC has crystal, like platter, like a large plate. It's really pretty. It has like a starburst down the middle. Wait, how much is this? $4.99. Ooh, that's nice. Canister thing. I think I have. This might be pottery you learn. But I don't think the top is. Like it looks different, but it's very similar. This is $10. It's chip. I wanted to see these blue and white plates. Mm, something Hill made in Portugal. Oh, these are cute. You can put like the chopsticks inside. These are from Pier One. Get out, you guys. These are a crate and barrel. They're cute, but they're just a small plate. There's um, these, the cafe at chocolate plates. These are kind of cool. Whoa, why are they $7.99? I'm gonna look those up in a second. I wanna know why they price them so much. I've heard of that, but I mean, I thought it was just a regular restaurant. I don't know. Amazon basic plates. Look at these bowls. William Sonoma. All right, you guys, we are now at the OC Goodwill Boutique. This is in Tustin. This is the only one here. So if you Google it, it this will come up. So we're gonna go inside, check it out. Oh, and we're in California. I feel like <laughs> I always say where I am, but everyone always asks anyway where I am. Um, but that is where I am. Let's go inside. Ooh, look at how pretty these are. They are $1.99 each. Ooh, some CeraVe Renewing Night Cream. Don't mind if I do, this looks nice. Oh my gosh, I'm crying, this is an Anthropology mug, $14.99, or $1.49. Letter I, amazing. So excited, I just came in here, finding good stuff already. Also, these are kind of pretty, but they're plastic. I had to run to like 
the plates and the cup section already just in case I see one of those anthro pieces like that go with this. All right, do you guys see any more? I just looked up, I found this Tiffany & Co. crystal like champagne flute. It's only 99 cents. You know what that means? There might be another Tiffany's piece in here. So I gotta find it. Now I have to be super vigilant because I found a Tiffany's thing and an anthro thing. And I'm just looking at, this is friends. It's just a sticker though. But now I just like literally have to look at every single thing because there might be something else hiding from me, you know? This is not anthro. This is cute. This is made, oh, Ikea. Made in France. How pretty. All right, there's some RCR crystal right there. I know that one didn't have anything on it, but um, I was looking through the, pack, the backpacks right now and I found this Harry Potter lounge fly one. So I'm gonna need to look it up and see if it's um, a good buy or not. Okay, I hung it up so I can show you guys the other stuff that I found. Um, I also found this Mark Jacobs cross body bag. So cute, this one's only $5.99. And I think that was the only other thing that I found. So that backpack bag and the crystal goblet thing and then um, anthro mug and the face night cream. Trying to check out that bag. The handles on it were peeling, so that's gonna be a no. Let's check out the rest of the store. Well, it should look like Tomb Raider or like Kim Possible. Kim Possible, call me, beep me if you wanna reach me. Ooh, this is fun. Oh my god, this weighs 8 million pounds. Ooh, look at these large platters. I love going to like their stores to look for dinnerware. I always tell you guys. And I always buy too much dinnerware. I have so much. I literally have enough dinnerware for like a hundred families, but that's yeah. how it is sometimes. Ooh, these plates are pretty interesting. Look at these soup cuisine. Guys, I also just found this leap skinned. Like, I want this almost like a duffel. $5.99. Hot diggity dog. Okay, I was walking by this. This is literally like sticking out of the front. This is Versace tie. Do you think it's authentic? Like the face looks a little. Yeah, well, all the tag lineup. $4.99. It does have a stain though. But. Hmm, we'll see. Let's see if there's anything else cool here. There's this lawn bond tie. It literally still has the Saks Fifth tag on it. Um, it also has like a little pull, but... Hmm. I found another tie. This one's a Valentino. Check it out, you guys. I found these containers, right? I looked them up. And they're Gazzini, and they're from the container store. They're really expensive, and these are so cheap. I really like them. I thought there was only one, but then I found a bunch. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house, and boy, did we find some good stuff. So, I haven't been to the store in like a hot second, and I, now I definitely need to go back more often because I found some really great things. And okay, so let me actually start off. Okay, let me just show you guys this container full of stuff. So, I, I got a bunch of these glass canisters. They're like storage containers for the kitchen. And I think there's one, two, there's four different sizes. Um, I think. Yeah, there's four different sizes. And let me show you guys that. This is the, 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 this is the largest one. And they're glass. And they are by a brand called Guzzini. And they're sold in like various different places. Um, Amazon sells them. Um, these particular ones, I believe, are from Crate and Barrel. And they're super cool. So these are like the, they're glass. And then the tops are, I think it said Plexi with like rubber. And then, so these pop up. And they are actually also um, supposed to be stackable. So you can stack them. So 
like it has like airtight seal. And then they stack like really, really well. Like they stack really well on top of each other, which is really cool. So if you put them in the pantry or whatever, you can stack them. They're all made to be stackable. And you can put these in the top shelf of the dishwasher, yada, 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 yada. And I'm really excited about these because I love glass containers. And we've been wanting to transition to like more glass containers instead of using plastics all the time. So I think these are gonna be fantastic. The largest ones were $2.99. Um, the middle ones were $1.99. Um, the small ones were $1.49. And then the smallest of the ones, which is this one, was $0.99. Cents. Um, this might have been the only one. That, I think I only got one of those small ones, or they only had one, which was a bummer. And then there was one larger canister, but the lid was, like, um, was damaged. And now I'm like, they just brought them out, too, and I'm like... Do they have any more <laughs> in the back? So now I like want to go back to see if I can find some more. Uh, I know that's crazy of me, but these are actually super duper expensive. Um, these are sold at Crate and Barrel, not Crate and Barrel, at the, the container store. The largest one I believe is like $25. So pretty pricey. So I got these three for one, two, three. Oh, so I got four of these, they're $12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so for the price of all of, for the, for the price of one of these regular retail price, I was able to get all of these for like about, is it three fourths of the price of one? So that's crazy. And then for some reason um, I found, I think it was this size on Amazon and it was like, $30 so I don't know they're they're expensive these are always sold out to a crane and barrel or oh, why do I keep saying crane and barrel I have crane and barrel on my brain at the container store <laughs> so I was really excited about these I can't wait to use them inside the kitchen and I think they're gonna be fantastic so I could put like flour in them uh, pastas and just all that stuff perfect for storage then since we're on like the food I also got this little container and I don't know like what brand or whatever this is but I oh that's um, progressive is the brand I guess and this is for like fruits and vegetables and I don't know if you buy this separately I haven't looked up the brand or anything I just saw it and I liked it it was three dollars and ninety nine cents mom and I have kind of been on a health kick recently and we've been eating like a lot of salads and lettuce and yada 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 and I know this is plastic I just said I was like trying to stay away from plastics but I just thought this was too good especially because we are eating a lot of salads we chop up a lot of lettuce and we just usually keep them in like random containers or whatever and this is actually perfect because it actually has little slats in the bottom and then it has like a drip tray so then even if like the fruits or vegetables or whatever you put inside here kind of like you know what they can kind of like precipitate sometimes a little bit or whatever instead of just like sitting in that water or liquid it'll go into the drip tray which i think is fantastic and then it has different it has little air vents that you can open and close on either side and then on the top of the lid it actually tells you what to do um, with each type of vegetable or whatever so if you need airflow if you need to put water in the bottom because the water in the bottom will also help the fresh the vegetables because certain ones um, need a little bit of water so that way the won't wilt inside the fridge and will stay fresher longer. Things like asparagus, um, carrots need it, celery, so stuff like that. So, fantastic. So these are like all things for <laughs> our trying to stay healthy. Um, then the next thing I found, this was very exciting for me. This is an anthropology mug. It's the letter I and this is from the Bistro collection. I am obsessed with the Bistro Collection from Anthropology. I have a set of their um, cups like this, but they say bonjour. But these, they have in different letters as well. So I hope to one day find a letter H, though I feel like I actually might just cough up the money and buy one full price. This one was $1.49, and they're so cute. But now, like, now that I have the letter I, I want to spell my name. Or like spell, it's Hadrian. 
So, I mean, I have the I to start off with it's, but I'm gonna need two of these to spell it's Adrian. Um, but I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll try for both. <laughs> Uh, another thing to try to collect. I am crazy. But I do actually, I have thrifted almost an entire set, a table setting of these. Well, I have uh, the dinner plates, I have the salad plates, I have the little like dessert plates, I have the mugs, and I just need to get some bowls and. Um, they also have like canisters, uh, everything. Okay, anyway, enough about that. We're manifesting this. That's why I'm like talking about it. We're trying, we're manifesting it, we're attracting it to us. And we're going to find out the thrift. Yes. All right, up next. Oh, I was so excited. I have been like on the hunt for anything Tiffany and co, um, especially the crystal. And I found this beautiful, I think this is for champagne, champagne flute. And it is beautiful, a Tiffany & Co. champagne. Look at the detail right there. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. I love it. I don't drink champagne, I don't drink alcohol at all, but this is gonna look fantastic with some Diet Coke. <laughs> but this was 99 cents, can you believe it, 99 cents. Tiffany & Co. is etched uh, right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like right there. And this was just such an awesome find. I'm so excited. This is my first Tiffany & Co. crystal champagne flute. I do have a bunch of other crystal pieces. I have, um, I think I have like six or seven candlestick holders. I have a couple of the crystal beer mugs, I have some of the old fashions, and I have some of the double old fashions. And I have a few bowls as well. And yeah, my collection has just been growing, and I'm so excited by it. And I, we're just like, we're hoping to find more, hoping to find more. Goodness gracious. Ah, love it. Okay, then I got, um, I think I got two bags, okay. So I did get this Liebskind bag. It's fantastic, it's blue, it's nylon, and it has leather trim. Love Liebskind. I also love this cobalt blue color. I think it's really pretty. And this guy was um, $5.99, so a deal. And then I got this Mark from Mark Jacobs bag. Uh, so cute, it's just a great little crossbody bag. Um, it has like this detail around the bottom of the bag that zips. You can zip it, close or unzip it, and then you gain a few inches of space inside of there. And this was $5.99. The only thing is it's missing a decorative stud, like right here. Um, but I do have, um, I, I bought some, um, hardware pieces for as a replacement for another bag that I got and I couldn't buy just like the like four or five pieces that I needed and now I know like I um, I have a bunch of extra ones and I'm wondering if I can oh <gasps> stop it okay the the screw is still in there so I might be able to just get like the back piece and um, screw it on. So that's actually pretty cool. What's cool too is I, oh no, I still don't think it's like this. Well, the pieces that I got, they, this is the piece that's missing on here. Um, the one, the backings actually, cause the one side is like a flat screw, like a flat piece. And then this is the part that you use to like screw into it with like, um, this would be like a flathead screwdriver or something or a flathead. Yeah. Um, but the ones that I got are, they look like this, but then they have like a little plus sign right there. So not a little plus sign, but so you can use like a Phillips head on it. We're getting too technical. I have something that looks very similar and hopefully it works out. We'll see. Um, but this was $5.99 and that is actually it for today. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me. I had a blast in that location i found so much good stuff and it was literally the end of the day too uh the store was like probably gonna close pretty soon and 
Um, I almost didn't even go there. I was gonna go the opposite direction. I was like, you know what? I want to go over here. So I don't know sometimes follow your thrift tuition. Uh, sometimes you just psychically know where to go, or you might find something cool. And we found a lot of really good stuff at the store. Things that I have actually been wanting, which is crazy. Like, don't you like? Like, I know like when you go to the thrift store, like you can't go in expecting to find something. Like, even if you know, like you always find black sneakers or whatever at the thrift store, black jeans, and then you go in expecting to find it and you're not gonna find it. So you kind of just gotta go in with an open mind, you know? Like I have like a mental list of like all the things I would hope to find one day at the thrift store and I, I just accept them as they come to me. <laughs> so thank you thrift store. Thank you you guys for watching today. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome to the Thrift Squad. Tune in tomorrow by early at 7 a.m for a new video and Fridays and Saturdays at 10 p.m. Pacific time for the live sales and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys.